<laughs> wow. Oh my god! No way! Look at that! Mount Fuji is your picture on the wall! <laughs> Let's go! This is the food that the samurai ate when they went into battle. Where am I, guys? Where am I? Hi, guys! I'm at Kawaguchiko in Yamanashi Prefecture! Day 3! In the last episode, after about 3 hours by bus from Izu, we arrived at Lake Kawaguchiko in Yamanashi Prefecture. Let's check out what kind of adventures are waiting here in the area of Mount Fuji for you! Our first challenge is canoeing! Let's go! From sea to lake, how about a romantic sunset canoe ride? There's nothing quite like taking in the scenery of Mount Fuji from, its, from one of its lakes. I have seen the lakes of Mount Fuji, but I've never been on the lakes of Mount Fuji. So actually canoeing on the lakes of Mount Fuji is going to be quite an adventure and a challenge for me. And uh, let's make it happen. And yes, I'm still wearing Lolita fashion. And there, that's our canoe. The Mad River Canoe. I am ready for it. Woo! <laughs> First, the guide will instruct you how to use the canoe. Don't worry, it's quite easy. It's a little bit different from kayak, but you'll get the hang of it quickly. The course starts under Mount Fuji and goes around a deserted island. It's about 90 minutes long. Let's go! <laughs> Hi, let's go to a deserted island. <laughs> this experience is especially beautiful because of the turning of the leaves. All around us, we can enjoy the rich red, orange, and yellow colors of autumn. Very picturesque. Right, we arrived on the deserted island. This was amazing, but this is just the start of it. We have a, we're allowed to have a look around the deserted island. So it's time for me to have my little victory drink. Woo. Mm. That's good. Having a little island all to yourself is fun. The air feels extra clean because we are already 800 meters above sea level. The air is so fresh, a total difference to the big cities. We're speeding up now, we're currently racing the director of our ship and Nisa's boat. <laughs> Let's go! It's over this car. Like a but it's got that was so much fun! I still have the thrill of excitement, especially because we were racing each other back to, to, to mainland. But there are more adventures waiting, so let's head off to the next adventure! Let's go! There are five lakes around Mount Fuji. Lake Yamanakako, Lake Saiko, Lake Motosuko, Lake Shojiko, and this one, Lake Kawaguchiko. All these lakes were created thanks to the volcanic activities of Mount Fuji. 
the history of the Five Lakes of Mount Fuji is a fiery one because about 9,000 years ago, Mount Fuji erupted again and again and again. And about 1,200 years ago is when these five lakes formed. So you can see all the area around us that was all in the effect of the massive volcano. If you just look a little bit around, for example, over here, you can see how the lava came over here and it literally you can see how these stone formations were built when the lava cooled down. When a volcano is as big and powerful and active as Mount Fuji was, especially in the old days, then you can see the signs of that everywhere. For example, here in this park, just on the side of it, you can see how the lava cooled down. There are still the porous holes in the stone and you can see how it flows. That one over here as well, the red one, they're just everywhere. These types of stones you can find all around Mount Fuji and the five lakes of Mount Fuji. Distance, you can see those wonderful lights in the mountains and this is where we're gonna head next. That is gonna be our hotel. So let's go there next. こんにちは。よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。ご紹介いただきます。これなんか芸術ですか。あ、こちらがですね。で、ご滞在中お楽しみいただけるようなグランピングのアイテムが入っております。ボケの始まりですね。そう
All the colors have changed a little bit. It's, everything is browner. It's taken on the aroma of the smoke. I thought that was normal bacon. It's actually a uh, horse bacon. Wow, it is so delicious. It was interesting to see how the flavors of all of the food items changed thanks to smoking them. And what goes well with smoked food is... Wow, now I know why everyone says that the whiskeys in Japan are so good. You can really taste the quality in them. Shall we see? There are many different things prepared for you at Hoshinoya Fuji. You can enjoy fresh coffee at the cafe library, sit under a canopy with a heated blanket, have some sweets. the fireplace and even a free musical performance at night. All surrounded by the gentle nature, it will give you a truly luxurious glamping experience. Time flies when you're on an adventure and now that the sun is setting, we can enjoy... Let's eat! Today I'm cooking the prepared food myself. This food is called shabu shabu. Shabu shabu gets its name from the sound it makes when you dip the ingredients into the water and you move it around. It goes shabu shabu and that's where the name of the dish comes from. And you usually dip the items in sauce. Usually ponzu sauce is a citrus type of sauce. But this one here is wine ponzu sauce. So it's itadakimasu. Wine is famous in Yamanashi Prefecture, so it makes sense to combine wine with ponzu sauce. And if you think about it, beef goes really great with red wine, and then having that as part of the sauce, match made in heaven. Best way to start the day? How about watching Mount Fuji from the comfort of your own bathtub? Look at this rustic designed breakfast basket on the balcony. What a way to start the day! Fuji-san, good morning! We have a big feast here and we're gonna go on the next adventure today. We are called Ask Japanese for a reason. Let's go ask travelers around the area. こう、なんでここ選んだんですか?あ、新婚旅行で。なんかこの前、もう少しのやつ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ
We are on the hunt now for Yamanashi Prefecture's legendary noodles. There are, there's soba, there's pasta, there's udon, but there is hoto. And hoto noodles have a history for longer than a thousand years. And we've come here to one of the most known places, hoto fudo. It's in a big, hot metal pot, just like the samurai were eating it many, many years ago. You scoop it up onto the ladle and cool it down before you eat it. Such a big ladle. Agnes? Just check out how thick and flat these noodles are. That gives you a really, really nice texture when you're eating it. I feel all warm but also full of strength because this is the food that the samurai ate when they went into battle. So I'm ready to head on into a next adventure. Hey guys, welcome to the Cathy Cat Camp. I'm taking you along with my smartphone here right now because Yamanashi is famous for wine and I saw this cute little wine place. Look, they even have wine up here grapes up here and where you can get some cool souvenirs so let's head inside and there's one special thing you can do you can pick your own little flask here and then you can fill it with the type of wine you want to fill it with and then take it home so it has like a feeling of like filling up your potions for your rpg adventure so let's uh, let's do that this will be my treat for when I get back to Tokyo. I'll be able to relive my adventures with a taste of Yamanashi. There's a cruise that lets you adventure around Tokyo Bay and that's where you can sit and enjoy the gifts and treats that you got yourself on your journey. We are back in Tokyo, but our journey is not over. As you can see, we're on a boat! <laughs> Even when you come back to Tokyo, there's a lot more things to explore and this time we are on a cruise that takes you around to Tokyo Bay and you can see Rainbow Bridge right beside us! This cruise is an adventure you can go on here in Tokyo. It takes you for 70 minutes around Tokyo Bay so you can see Tokyo from a totally different perspective. I'm here at Red Tokyo Tower and there are many, many cool things to do here in Tokyo. Let's go! Japan's largest esports park called Red Tokyo Tower is just under Tokyo Tower. You use your body to play games and dive into the gaming world. Japan is full of adventures and we took you along. Three videos, three places, plus also here in Tokyo, there's so many fun adventures to find when you come to Japan. What was your favorite spot? Let us know in the comments down below. If you haven't seen our videos, be sure to check out the first two and share this with people who wanna come to Japan and go on an adventure.